Hi YouTube, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my pregnancy fashion haul. I picked up a few items uh, just the last couple weeks and it made me think about my first pregnancy. This is my second pregnancy. I was going through my items thinking, okay, you know, like I don't need very much. I was pregnant before. I have items already. So I started trying some of the things on. Besides the fact that some of the things don't fit me because I'm a little bit smaller um, now because I lost a lot of weight after my first pregnancy, I realized though, besides things not fitting, that I had no idea how to shop pregnant. I bought pieces that no longer are my style and I kind of had pieces like, what were you thinking? Like, why would you buy this kind of piece? It might, like, I don't know what I was th thinking. I don't know if it was the pregnancy and I just like bought pieces and thought they were cute and now I'm looking at them and maybe it's my style has changed. I'm like, mm, I, will not, I'm not, I will not wear that. So I want to help women buy chic, comfy, just easy put together pieces. That's what I realized in this pregnancy. I've been very sick, so sick with this baby, and I wasn't sick like this with my first. So there's definitely days I don't wanna get out of bed, I don't wanna function. So when I do feel good, I wanna look good, and I want to still feel comfortable because I can be out and I can feel great, and then all of a sudden I'm like, I don't feel good anymore. My stomach's tight. I'm uncomfortable. So definitely being comfortable is like number one tip I can give any pregnant woman. So a lot of these pieces are comfort. Second tip would be budget. There are items out there that are maternity that are expensive. And some of these pieces are maternity. They were expensive, but I got for such a good deal. So price hunt. That would be my number one tip, especially for maternity stuff. It is not cheap. So price hunt. Save yourself money. You are not going to wear these items after baby. A lot of them are made to make you look pregnant. And if you wear them after baby, you will still look pregnant in them. So that's my other tip. Um, Another tip would be staple pieces. Buying pieces that work pregnant, but can work non-pregnant, but that are pieces that you'll keep in your wardrobe for a long time to come. So classic colors, pieces that are comfortable, but still make you look good if you have a belly or you don't have a belly. Just things like that. So I'm gonna get into showing you the pieces and I hope you enjoy. So this is the sweater I got from Motherhood. It was a really good deal. I actually ended up getting it half price. Um, I loved the color. I also loved that it didn't look maternity, so I definitely think I can wear it afterwards. I'm also thinking maybe I could wear a slip under it and wear it as a dress, because it does have high sides, as you can see. Um, these are the jeans that I got. I really love these jeans. They're lower, so they hit right under the belly and they just stretch from there. They're a key, I think, maternity piece that every woman needs. I loved how stylish they were because they were skinny and then they had the holes in the knees. But they're a piece that I think I can get away with wearing afterwards. Same as this sweater, I definitely think I can wear it afterwards. It does need a little alteration. Um, it's a size medium. I probably could have gone size small. So I'm just going to get it taken in under the armpits a little bit. So it's a little tighter in the breast area, but there's still a lot of room for my bump, as you can see. This is the next piece I got. It's a dress from Marshalls. It was $20. I loved the elephant on the front and then the crochet on the arms. It is a piece that I need to take in again under the armpits a bit, but I just loved how it looked. It's a non-maternity piece, but I can wear it while 
I'm pregnant, I think I can get quite big with it. But I also think it'll be really cute for after pregnancy as well. This is the next dress I got from Marshalls. It's just a classic black dress. I really loved that it showed off my little bump, but it would look good if I wasn't pregnant too. I also loved that it was dressy enough for nighttime, but it was also casual enough for the daytime. So it was a great piece to make work day or night. So I got these little shorts from Maritzia. They're high-waisted black shorts. They have the band in them that is stretchy, so I think they can fit over the bump when the bump gets a little bit bigger, but they also will be able to tuck right under the bump as well. This little crop top I got from Marshalls, it was only $6. It was a one size fit all. I definitely think it looks cute with the high-waisted shorts right now while the bump is kind of small and it just tucks in there but they also are a piece that I can wear after pregnancy. I got these pants from Maritzia too. They're so comfortable. They're almost like pajama pants. Also has that loose band tie. So right now I was able to tie them a little bit tighter, but as the bump gets bigger, you can loosen them. And also they're low enough that I can tuck them under the bump. This is another little crop top, also $6 from Marshalls, one size fits all. I thought that this look was kind of cute right now because it kind of hid the little bit of a pregnancy belly, but it'd be so cute after pregnancy as well. Another of the same kind of pants, but these ones are from Marshalls and they were a little bit cheaper. They also are more like a windbreaker pant. I bought them because I have softball and I also play golf, so I wanted to wear them over my leggings if it was cold. Um, I'll, the same crop top as before I have on with them right now. But I think this kind of style of pant works for when you're pregnant or non-pregnant. So they're just super comfortable and classic black. So these pants I got from Motherhood. They are maternity pants. They actually called them legging flared leggings um, you can see they have a little bit of a flare to them they have the belly band in them so the belly band is going to give you a pretty decent bump when you don't you can see when I turn that it looks like there's a little baby bump there um, this top was again from Marshall's six dollars one size fits all I just really loved this look and it is super comfortable like, I feel like I'm wearing my pajamas, but I look a little chicer. So this is the same top as before. Uh, these are kind of the same leggings, just in a different print and color. They're a black pair. Uh, also super comfortable. I really wish I could get this top in more colors. I just love the way it looks with these pants. And I love the way my bump looks in this look. So I got this sweater vest from Motherhood. Um, what I liked about it was it does look like a maternity piece. The only thing is it's really big on me, so I need to get it sized. But I think if I do, I will be able to wear it after pregnancy. I definitely think it's a piece that I can keep and wear from season to season as well. I'm planning to wear it in November with um, a big bump and a cute long sleeve dress underneath. So I also got from Marshalls these earrings. So it was a six piece set. What I really liked about them was you got these ear jacks with them. I think that's what they're called. And I really wanted a pair like this. So these ended up being $12.99 and you get six pieces. Two of them were these ear jacks. These ones actually don't sit quite as close to my ear like this, but they're still really cute. And then these ones are just like little single. The only pair that I wasn't sure if I'd actually wear are the black pair. I don't think it's really my style, but I might be able to pull them off in one outfit and they'll look great. This purse I got, it is this mustard kind of yellow. I loved the detail on the purse. It also has like these really cool aspects of these though. These are actually functional pockets in the front. I loved the print of it. Pocket back here too. 
inside it has this I don't know, it kind of reminds me of a circus print. I don't know why. But I have gotten so many compliments on this purse. Everywhere I go, um, everyone wonders where I got it. And I send from Marshalls and they're like shocked. It also was only $35. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. It also it has the long strap so that you can do crossbody. The next bag I got is this black Nicole Miller bag. I always wanted a bag with the quilting look to it, so that's why I got this one. Um, it's definitely roomy too. I've fit his pull-ups in here, wipes, snacks, and a toy, and then my stuff. And there's a ton of room in this bag. It also has the shoulder strap or a crossbody strap and then it has these straps as thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed please subscribe like and there's definitely more videos to come